Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Niara Alexis, and like the title says today, I'm gonna show you how to curl with a flat iron, okay? I get questions about this all the time, and I can't remember if I have a video up about it or not. I could easily look, but I don't feel like it. So I'm just gonna film a little something for you guys, and I'm gonna tell you like the tips that I learned on how to curl with a flat iron. First and foremost, I will say, if you are like brand brand stinking new to doing your hair like you've never picked up a hot tool ever you've always been a salon girly my number one tip is get a curling iron okay i know you're like girl that defeats the purpose of this whole video it will show you like the physics of what you're trying to replicate with the flat iron maybe you don't need to you don't want to go get a curling iron okay whatever i hear you number one you're gonna straighten your hair first and then you're gonna curl you can't straighten and curl at the same time. I don't care what anybody says or they try to tell you, oh, that's too much heat. Do you say that when you go to the beautician and you go and let her do your hair? No, you don't. You shut up and you let her do your hair. Okay, just saying. I'm gonna take this section down here because I am I think I'm gonna do like, um, like my big loose kind of like blowout type of look today. It's basically all that look is, is like you're curling your hair and then you comb it out. This is the Croc Masters Collection Infrared One Inch Flat Iron. Um, I like this flat iron. Another flat iron that I really like is the GHD Platinum Plus flat iron, but I know these two are kind of pricey, so if you're just not willing to commit or like invest that much in a flat iron just yet, Heritage by Mindy has some really nice flat irons too that are available at Walmart, and I think they're like $30, $40. I'll link them down below, okay? The first tip I'm gonna give you is to hold your flat iron vertically, okay? Stop doing all this, stop doing all that, don't be doing this, don't be doing that vertically okay you're gonna take your hair hold it in the flat iron turn it so you see oh just burn my finger i put it in flat right turn it to the side and you're just gonna pull the hair through just pull it all the way through and i just i don't know why but it's just inherent i just always do a little shake and then uh, you need to let your hair cool, okay? If you're just flat ironing it and then letting it drop, no. You need to let it spiral up. So what I did was I took the curl and I'm letting it sit on top of itself. Did, did you catch that? Letting it sit on top of it set as, out. Know what I'm trying to say, damn it. Oh, so now I can feel like my hair is cool. It's not hot anymore. I can let it drop. I just curled my hair. Okay, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Take your flat iron, straight. The back of the flat iron or like the flat side of the flat iron should be facing outward, okay? Clamp it, turn it so you see the side. Pull it down. That's all you gotta do. That's all you have got to do. Give it a little shake, let the curl sit on top of itself and let it sit here until it cools. And I always get asked too, like what direction should you curl your hair? It depends on what you like. I know people that like to curl their hair forward. The way that I'm showing you is curling your hair back away from your mirror face. And I feel like people, more people like that look or like gear towards that look to get that like little swoopy action, like where your hair is like, or where you like can rake your hair back and it kind of falls forward. If you curl your hair forward, you're not gonna get that. So we're putting our flat iron in, it's facing flat, it's facing frontward. Clamp it, turn it to the side, pull your hair all the way through. All the way through to the ends. Don't skip the ends, sometimes people, and then look, what we're gonna do, we're gonna, oh, it's hot in my hand. We're gonna let it sit on top of itself. Some people I see what they do is like, they get to the end and they kind of like release it and then they end up with straight ends. You need to let the whole, the whole chunk of hair needs to go through the flat iron plates to get that curl to it. Because if you skip the ends, it's, it's just gonna be straight on the end, it's not gonna be curled. And I don't think that's the look that you're going for, okay? So I feel that my hair is cool to the touch. I'll let it fall. Now this time I kind of turned it all the way to the back, which might give you a little bit more of a, like a tighter curl situation. You see that? It's a little bit more of like a ringlet. That's fine too. If you want to add some of that in there, mix it up. But I would say just get used to doing that one move, okay? Put it in flat, turn it to the side, pull the hair through. That's going to give you a nice even curl. And then as you get more comfortable, you'll start to like, you know, play with your wrist action a little bit more. So you see how this curl, 
I turned it all the way over to the other side it's this is like a tighter curl it's more of like a ringlet whereas this curl down here is like bigger and looser okay so one more time you put it in it's flat turn it to the side so you see the plates and pull your hair all the way through and remember go all the way through to the ends shake it out and then let it cool I like my front piece to be very, you know, swoopy doopy. Okay, so we're gonna take our hair, and we're gonna. You see, we're holding it straight all the way down. Then we're gonna turn it as we get to the end, and that gives it. Let me hold it in place. That gives it a little bit more of like that straight, and then it curls back versus having it being a curl all the way at the front. If that makes any sense. So you see that how it's like it's straight and then it curls back instead of coming in and immediately turning i'm coming in i'm pulling the flat iron straight down then i'm going to turn it to the side to see the plates once i'm like three-fourths of the way down shake it again and so this front piece right here is pretty straight it's not much of a curl to it the curl is really only added at the end and then that's how you get that little like you know that little that little action then what we're gonna do is we're gonna start pinning our hair back pinning it is just gonna add some extra like staying power don't worry about like this part that that's not gonna affect your curl whatsoever it's not gonna bother it unless your hair was still hot which it should be because you cooled it right and all I'm doing is wrapping it around my finger and I'm gonna pin it down to my head using one of these little silver pins. Also, I will say too, like when you're curling your hair, unless you're just doing like a total hack job, it's really hard to like mess it up. I can understand it being frustrating if you just like, it's just not turning out exactly how you want it. I get that. But you also have to understand you're never gonna really learn how to do it until you keep doing it. But that one time that you get it to be how you like, remember what it is that you were doing. Otherwise, if you just like have no recollection of that, you're not gonna know how to recreate that look. But yeah, that's how I curl my hair. I'll come back and show you what it looks like at the end, okay?